and in today's video I'm gonna be doing some perfume reviews with some new perfumes that I recently got yes I know you guys like some perfumes and I got some new perfumes over a couple of months all these fragrances actually are actually relatively new either to, from 2018 or 2019 so yeah stay tuned to see this now before I show you these goodies I just have to ask you one thing and that one thing is for you guys to please subscribe yeah and click that ding a ling a ling bell button while you're at it as well and also check me out on Instagram I post star inspiration fashion videos all that jazz girl and all boy whoever is watching this without further ado let's get started right guys okay so the first perfume i'm going to pick is enduring glow by jennifer lopez so you know jenny from the block yeah j to the l o j lo a beautiful queen that does not age she's created this gorgeous perfume the packaging is the rhyme 24 karat magic in the air and then it like fades into this like cream color like it's just gorgeous i'm intrigued to see what the bottle's gonna look like let's open it up oh hello Ooh, look at this sleek slender and got the badonk donk donk i feel like the bottle's like got a kind of womanly sort of shape to it like hourglass kind of vibe and like obviously JLo is known for having like you know a beautiful body so yeah again going from this gold and graduating and fading into this cream color it's gorgeous and also is it gonna focus focus on the bottle not me focus on the bottle not me if you can see that this is Jennifer Lopez around here so yeah let's see if the smell is as gorgeous as J-Lo herself. I smell citrus fruits. Really nice. There's definitely florals in this, but I feel like there's a really nice balance between the florals and the fruits. This smells very like fruity and fresh and like summery, like that sort of vibe. I smell something really spicy in it as well. There has to be amber in this. I love this. Clearly, yet again, another example that J-Lo can do no wrong. I can smell musk as well. There's slight woodiness there as well. That smell comes in like after a while. Really, really nice. Right, so the notes are, top notes, Italian bergamot, lychee, pear, heart notes, magnolia, pink peony, violet leaf, base notes, sandalwood, musk, white amber. Guys, this fragrance is gorgeous. Like, literally, I really do like it. I would say the smell does fade a bit, like, too quickly for my liking, but I do think it's a good fragrance nonetheless. So, JLo, girl, you're just killing the game, you know? Well done. Right, guys, so the next fragrance is called Romano? Roma? Romano? It is this, yeah? Look. And it's from Laura Bionjati. The packaging looks gorgeous already. It's like pink, this sort of slight sheen to the packaging with this sort of embossed pattern going on here. And yeah, it looks great. So let's open it up, guys. Woo! Okay. Really nice. This is definitely inspired by architecture and I love me some good architectures, especially classical architecture. Okay. But yeah, I really like how the fragrance water is like pink as well, this light pink color. So yeah, I really hope this fragrance smells as good as it looks, okay? Do you open it? Oh. Oh. What? Whoa. Guys, do you know that was a bit of a toughie? Right, let's smell this. Okay, so I smell vanilla, really like this one. It's spicy as well. Is there musk in that as well? There's a subtle flower in that, but it's, it's really well balanced. Oh my God, I really like this. This smells so classy. <laughs> it reminds me a bit of Coco Chanel, 
but this one's a little bit more soft. Oh my god, this smells good! This smells super like powdery as well. Guys, if you are like super chill, sophisticated, chic woman, you will like a bit of this. I mean, it redeemed it a bit, considering it's a little bit of a <laughs> toughy to open, but I'm sure that's just me. But like, honestly, really nice, really soft. And it's good quality as well. How you know it's good quality? Before I even smelt the paper, as I'm spritzing it, I can smell it in the air. Is there patchouli in this as well? Gorgeous. I like me some of this. Pure glass. Okay guys, this is weird. I'm starting to smell fruits a bit more now. So like after the initial smell kind of dies down a bit, like you can smell the, the fruits and it's like these berries. This is quality. Yes! Right guys, okay, so the perfume notes are top notes, blackberry, blueberry and grapefruit, heart notes, jasmine, orange flower, magnolia and the base notes, cashmere woods, patchouli and vanilla absolute. Vanilla is one of my favourite smells and that was like one of the main things I smelled. I really like this fragrance. I'm going to wear the out of it. Guys, literally, I love it. Oh, it's such pure class. I can see lots of people really liking this. This would be for young people, older people, people in between, like... I'm not even gonna lie, I haven't really, really heard of this designer, but like checking it on the internet, she's obviously very big and she's she's a veteran, so amazing. Basically, two words, okay? Pure class. <laughs> next. Okay, guys, so the next um, perfume is from Carolina Herrera and it's Good Girl. Now, um, basically, let me tell you, right, there's an amazing story behind this. And if you don't care to hear the story, then just skip to nine minutes and 37 seconds to get into the smell, okay, guys? <laughs> I still can't even believe this happened. I went to this event back in April. If you were following my Instagram, you would know. It's fine, you still have time. I forgive you. Back in April, um, I went to this amazing event, um, Carolina Herrera and the um, Sunday Times event, the, a female empowerment event, and it was just really inspiring. Basically, the people on the panel included these truly inspirational people and also Lydia Elise Millen, yes, a beauty blogger who's just amazing. Guys, I met her, I actually met her, I can't even believe this, and the story gets even better, yeah. We were talking, I was basically just fangirling. Can I say, you think she's pretty in her videos, she's absolutely stunning in real life. Just wow, just, I, I literally just walked up to her and said, you're amazing, like, or something along those lines, like, just wow. The story's getting long. Let me just basically get to the point, yeah? So we were talking, and I had no idea this was being filmed or anything. I was just thinking, oh my god, I'm actually talking to like one of like the most amazing bloggers right now. And yeah, then like she posted a video the other event and I watch it and I'm in it. I'm like, what? <laughs> Guys, seriously, I'm gonna insert the clip here. Yeah, that was probably one of the highlights of like my life. And also, like I found out about the video like the day of my birthday. So yeah, I probably should have filmed this ages ago, but yeah, I thought, anyways, whilst I'm reviewing the perfume from the event, um, I would, you know, bring up that story. So yeah, I met Lydia Lise Millen and she's actually amazing. She's super friendly. So yeah, anyways, Back to the fragrance at hand, guys. <laughs> yeah, so this is the sample I was given at the event. Uh, if you want to see the footage from the event, check out my IGTV channel. I will link it down below and I'll link the video. But yeah, so this is a sample that I got. As you can see, I've been using it. Can I just say, look at the, the packaging, okay? This is a sample. I'll post a picture of the actual perfume itself. The sample looks this fire, elegante, looks like it's coming to snatch your wigs. 
Like a stiletto shoe. Yes, come through. Love it. Right, okay. So yeah, this is definitely one of my favorite like perfume bottles for sure. All right, okay, I'm gonna open it up now. Oh, smells so good. I smell vanilla in this. There's flowers, but it's really nice and complemented with sort of fruity smell. It's like warm, fruity, zesty, really fresh smelling. Do I smell musk in that? Is there patchouli in that? Oh, I really like this. Hmm, that fruit and the flowers in it, really great combination, honestly. Guys, this is a winner. Winner, winner chicken dinner. Why did I say that? Anyway. <laughs> is there amber in that? So this is another one. I, you got me close my eyes. Like I'm like drifting into like you know, cloud nine. Oh, so good, guys. Oh, yes. Okay, guys, so the perfume notes include a top note, bergamot, lemon, and mandarin. Heart notes, jasmine, sambac, imperial, Bulgarian rose, lang lang, caramel, orange blossom, cinnamon, the base notes, toka bean, sandalwood, cedarwood, cashmerian, patchouli, amber, and musk. Guys, this is a mega win. This is another one that smells like it's just simply for a classy lady. Like, it's just effortlessly chic. And really soft and sophisticated. Guys, it says it's so good to be bad. <laughs> I mean, is she good or is she bad? I think she's both, okay? I love it. Guys, and then the final fragrance is called Sunbriar by All Saints. And yeah. It is a sample, but I thought I'd review it anyways. So yeah, I didn't actually know All Saints made perfume, so very interesting. Right, let's spritz it. Hmm, an interesting smell here. To me, it smells a bit androgynous. It smells mysterious. Amber Central. Yeah, the, the ambush game is strong here. Fresh, again, spring summery type of fragrance right here or daytime fragrance. Oh my god, this is this is really good though. I like amber. There is definitely fruits in this. Oh my god. Whew. There's berries in this and I really like them. And it gives the fragrance that sort of femininity. And if there's another fruit, maybe like sort of zesty but soft at the same time. And there's flowers in that for sure, but I really quite like them. All Saints, you came through, okay, and you delivered. I think that's actually a cool idea to do unisex fragrances. I'm all in for that. After a while, I also smell like woody notes as well. Ooh. <laughs> yes. I like it, and that, so that's, yeah, and I could see men liking it as well. Really, really good. The notes include pink pepper, rose, orange flower and cedar wood so yeah guys really really nice i just love the idea of using sex fragrances i think that's actually genius and actually kind of hard to pull off so the fact that all saints actually pulled it off hats off to you guys here we go i always so, dropped something um <laughs> Anyways, right guys, I just want to say thank you so much for watching this video. Yeah, I definitely literally recommend all the fragrances in this video. Wish you guys so much love and light in your lives. Peace, love, and light to you all. Mwah.